Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have to kind of rush through this because my camera's dying because I was talking way too much towards the end of the video and I just let my mouth get a hold of me and I forgot that my camera was about to die. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I cut this fringe bang in my wig. This is something really different. I've never done like a straight across bang before. I know recently I did like little side swoop bangs, but this time I decided to do a fringe. This hair is from Sunburn Hair. They sent it to me to review for you guys. And honestly, I love this hair. I'll talk a little bit more about it throughout the video, but we're going to go ahead and get into the video before my camera dies. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already, and yeah, let's just get into it, guys. Okay guys, so I had the wig installed. I didn't show me installing it because it's really repetitive and it really doesn't matter how it's installed since we're gonna be covering the lace with bangs. I'm so scared. I don't know, I've never done um, straight across bangs, fringe bangs on a wig before. So, okay, I look like the grudge. But I already um, like parted it out because I didn't wanna have to do that. I didn't want to have to do that while it was on my head because I have a hard time doing it. So, I have everything parted out. I probably should like pluck that a little bit more because I had to cut some of the lace off because it was too far in my face. So, like I was saying, I've never done bangs before so I'm kind of scared. So, I have this in a ponytail. Let's just pull this down and see what I'm working with. So... I've watched a couple videos and I'm still like, okay, I feel like I'm just, uh, okay, I just think I should just do it. So, I'm gonna have to start pretty long first. I don't have much forehead space. So, we're gonna start like right here. Well, no, we're gonna start longer than that actually. So if I mess this up, I don't know what to do. So let's just cut down here. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay, that's the first cut. Okay. Now we gotta make sure we don't get too short on the sides because I want these to stay kind of long over here, okay? So now I'm going to take this out. Scared. And I didn't want to do them too thick, so they look a little thin. 
that's just gonna have to be it because I don't want to do too thick. So let's just keep cutting. And just cut at an angle so that it's not super blunt. And we'll just fix it the more we get up. <laughs> I can't even see. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Let's go a little shorter. Let's go a little shorter. Because I can't see a thing out of these bangs. Let me push this hair back. getting the flat iron out because we need to like fix this it's a little too straight so let's let the flat I feel like I'm just like talking and you can't see me Let's just go through and straighten the hair because I'm not really feeling it right now. So I'm going to go through and straighten and then we're going to come back once I have the wig straightened.
guys so we're back it's been like two days i believe since i put this wig on I have my little bang clip back i just got done doing my makeup and they're probably about to look crazy yeah they look crazy so um the last thing i think i showed you guys i believe i was like cutting it i don't know i haven't cut it i haven't cut it anymore since then but let me just like tie this part back so we can focus on the bangs so they've actually grown on me they have grown on me i will admit that now i feel like there's something i could have done differently but i just don't know what it is so i had to go get a new hot comb yesterday because my other one i had plugged it in and i was wondering i was like when i was using it it kept like turning off and i'm like why does it keep turning off and like i would pick it up and I would hear like a little sizzling crackling noise. I was like, uh-uh, nope. 
this thing is not about to explode it's not about to catch on fire while i'm using it so i was like mm -mm. and i went and bought a new hot comb yesterday i needed one anyways i had that one for like what was that noise oh my phone i had that one for like two years it did its, it served its purpose time to move on to a new one i kind of want to get like a really nice one but i needed one asap yesterday so i just went to target about this one this is the Andis brand so i'm just kind of hot combing my bangs back down they look crazy right now i know i know i know they look kind of crazy we're gonna fix that let's take this down i love this hair have i tried sunburn hair before i don't even know but like, i'm loving this hair honestly it's so silky and shiny of course i did dye it i used blue black this time darkest blue black it's revlon um i will link the box that i used down below it's like blue black or something like that i don't know but yeah i used that this time and i feel like it just made the hair look so shiny maybe it's just me i feel like the black ones that i normally use they just don't they don't be as shiny for some reason I did get a new curling iron. I got it from TJ Maxx. I always buy the Hot Tools brand curling irons. I got one with a little bit bigger of a barrel than the one that I normally use because I just didn't want the curls to be as tight anymore. So I was thinking since it's like a bigger barrel, should I try to curl this somehow? I don't know. But I don't know. I don't want to look weird. I don't want to look weird. So, section this I can't wait until they start making wigs with the lace that actually goes pretty, like, that actually goes back four inches on the sides because the way this little, like, wig cap be rubbing up against the back of my ear, I could snatch it off. So did I do like a good link? I think I did. I think I feel like I did a pretty good link. It's not like in my eyes. It's not like above. Uh, it's not like above my eyebrows. I feel like it's a pretty good link. Now, what am I about to do? To this I don't know I wanted to leave it straight but then I feel like straight is just giving synthetica like I feel like straight is just making this look like a party scene wig kind of but I don't know because I want to curl it but then like how does how does a fringe bang look with curly hair let me google a picture I think I want to curl it because I feel like the straight just isn't doing it for me like it's giving me party city like I said so um we're going to did I even cut that right? I don't think I did. Like this side is longer. Like, where's my piece? Oh, okay. Well, it's still longer. It's still longer. Let me just hit these little pieces. Cause I just feel like straight is just not giving what it's supposed to have gave. Okay. I will try to link this, but since I do buy these at like TJ Maxx, it's kind of hard to find the exact one. And like, I don't know the name. Oh, but I do have the box this time. Oh, there's a model number. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, okay. I found it. So they sell it at TJ, not TJ Maxx. At, well, I got mine at TJ Maxx and it said JCPenney, Amazon, um, Amazon, Amazon. Walmart, I believe. No. Okay, I will link the Amazon one. It looks like this. 
So I will link that one. Well, which one's the cheapest? Nobody. Who really orders off Jesse Benny? I don't know. I'll link it down below for you guys since I actually know how to find the model number now. So, yes. I've used it once. I curled a wig yesterday that I sold and shipped. So I curled it before I shipped it. I always do. So if you guys want to purchase a wig for me that I am selling. Um, it always comes styled. So, I mean, whenever it's like ready to ready to wear, it's styled. So all you have to do is just glue it down. You don't have to worry about hot combing it, anything like that. Unless you want to tweak it a little bit more. But it comes styled. So since this is a big barrel, I'm going to um take I'm gonna take bigger sections because I don't want it to be too curly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna curl the ends. I'm gonna leave the ends pretty straight like that, like leave that much of the ends out because I don't want it to be like super curly. So oh well, all that did. <laughs> what did it do? Okay, it gave me like a little a little tussle. A little tussle. Okay. It didn't really do anything, but that's what I want. I don't want like curls. I don't want like waves. That's why I wanted a bigger barrel curling iron. I really want to get a bigger, even bigger one. Because not all the time do I want super defined curls, you know? You know. This hair is so, like, I wish you guys could feel this hair. You know, like, this hair is so silky and smooth, like. It's so pretty too, especially when the sunlight hits it. It's so pretty. And since I um dyed it black, so pretty. I'm not rushing today for once because I got up on time this morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. It was 12, 12 3. Um, I got up at like out of the bed at like 10 something. And I started, took my shower, did my makeup, and now I'm finishing my video. I'm not rushing because once again, I have to leave in a little bit, but I'm okay because I'm not pressed for time because I got up. I could have got up earlier, but who wants to get up that early and put makeup on your face? Not I. That's like when I was working. Mm -mm. It got to a certain point where I was like, nope. <laughs> nope. Not putting on makeup anymore. Well, also because of masks and stuff, but it was just like, even before the mask, I was like, nope. I don't have any desire to have makeup on my face at 7 in the morning. No. And neither am I putting on makeup at 3 in the afternoon, 2 in the afternoon to go to work. Nope. Uh uh. I just, I just got tired of makeup. Did I just curl this? Uh. Well, I feel like it's not really doing anything. <laughs> Honestly. Is it curling? Does it look like it's doing anything, y'all? Because. Maybe this is what I'm going for. Maybe this is what I'm going for. So let me finish first before I say anything. Because maybe this is what I want. I love Hot Tools curling irons though. <clears throat> they're so affordable. And they're really nice. And yeah, I'm kind of, I like to hold it. Like when I feel the heat starting to really come through to where I can't hold it anymore. That's when I know to take the barrel off. Oh, see, look, that was too curly. See? That was too curly. I feel like I'm giving Beyonce, well not the color, but Beyonce, um, what's that song? Me, myself, and I. <laughs> That's what I feel like I'm giving. With this bang, my bang. I think I'm gonna paint today though. I've been trying to find ways to occupy my time because I find that I sit on my phone a lot and scroll on social media so i was like what can i do to keep myself occupied so i don't feel like i'm wasting my days i bought some canvases and some acrylic paint and some brushes and i have been painting well i painted once i painted the day i got it that was like two days ago i painted a flower uh i'm gonna show you guys my flower i painted a flower oh wait nope this is cute i like it do y'all like it i think i like it i'm gonna show you my flower real quick and let y'all see so I based it off of this picture. This is not my flower. This is not my flower, but I saw this on Google and I was like, I wanna paint that. And this is mine. I didn't put the ladybug on there because I don't like ladybugs. But that's my flower. I used to draw back then, but 
I wasn't really like the best at drawing, but I could doodle. I mean, not doodle. I cannot doodle. I used to draw. Um, maybe if I practiced more, I would have gotten better. But like, I could draw. Like, you knew what it was, and it looked semi-realistic. It wasn't like, you know, crazy good art, but... I used to love drawing when I was younger, and then I grew up and got into social- no, I'm kidding. But no, um, I just don't do it anymore. But obviously I know how to paint. I at least know how to look at a picture and replicate it a little bit to look somewhat like it, you know? I feel like I, I always do like the same old style. So I feel like this is a nice, this is a nice little change. I'm looking in my mirror, if y'all are wondering, I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera because I can't look in the viewfinder. Well, I could. I could look in the viewfinder, but now I, I feel like I'm just rambling. Whenever I do talk to y'all, I feel like I just be rambling. Do y'all, do y'all care to hear that? Because we can, we can put some music on. But I feel like I always do that, so let me not. I'm just going to keep on rambling, keep on rambling. But yeah, I, I like, ooh, that's hot. Oh my God. <laughs> but no, I feel like this is definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. I feel like I do the same little middle part all the time. You know, I did my two little other bang looks recently, not too long ago. And I liked it. I liked how different it was. And so now I'm trying to fringe bang. The last time I had a fringe bang, I was in sixth grade. <laughs> and it was ugly, like ugly. Like the lady that cut my bang, she just cut it straight across. No little, no little transition pieces, whatever you call them, no, straight across. And I will show y'all the picture, but we don't, how, oh, what the fudge? We don't even need to like, I don't even need to like show my like, mm -mm. I don't even want y'all to know what I looked like in middle school. I mean, I know like you're not gonna look perfect and like, you know, you're in, you're in middle school, you're a child. But girl, I was hurting. <laughs> this is like before braces, big gap. I had a huge gap, huge. Um, this is before all that. Just gap and bangs, <laughs> gap and bangs. It was, it was, it was hilarious. Like looking back at it, I'm like, I didn't like it. I did not like it. That was, mm-mm. Cause I knew whenever I, you know like whenever you go to, this is why I don't go to salons. This is why I only do my own hair. So I can only be mad at myself. Because every every salon experience I've ever had, from, I, from what I can remember, every salon experience I've ever had, I've never, ever liked my hair. When they show you in the mirror, or when you get up at that chair and you go outside and get in the car, Never liked my hair. I've always had to go home and tweak it. Like, can anybody relate to that? Like, uh, that's why I just don't, like, I don't, I don't let people do my makeup and I don't let people do my hair because nobody can do it how I want. I'm a very picky person when it comes to anything appearance wise. So like, I would rather just be mad at myself than feel like I wasted my money and be mad at somebody else for having me looking like a clown. Like. I swear to you, like whenever I did my, um, okay, when I first did my, okay, let's see. Whenever I graduated high school, I, did I have permed hair? Was my hair, was my hair relaxed? I don't know if my hair was relaxed. I don't think it was relaxed, but I'm trying to think. Was my hair relaxed? Um, I don't remember. I think it, I think I was trying to transition by like my last year because I only did three years of high school. So I think by that last year I was transitioning my hair out and I was wearing like clip-ins and stuff. And so whenever I went to my little semester at college, because that was a no, not for me. Um, when I did my little semester, <laughs> I was I had did a sew-in with a frontal. Frontal was horrible frontal was horrible like it was not a good frontal i didn't know anything about frontals um no it was a closure it was a closure it was a closure it was a closure sewing i didn't know where you were supposed to get the good closures from nobody around me really like wore frontals and closures like that so i didn't really know so i had went to like a beauty supply store and bought like a little 
not good. So the girl did my sew in, braided my hair so tight, braided my hair so tight, I had like, my scalp was swollen, like scalp swollen, okay? So I suffered. I'm like putting tea tree oil, everything on my scalp, trying to relieve pain. It hurt. So I think I wore that sew in. Girl, no. I wore that sew in from August until December because I remember I came home from school for like the Christmas break, the long little Christmas break with a sew-in that I left in. <laughs> came back with the sew-in I left in. Okay, so I, no, like I wish I had, let me see if I have a picture, you guys. I feel like I'm, I'm giving y'all the whole story time, but like, y'all gotta see. I don't have any good pictures of it. Okay, well this is this is like it, but you can't like see it because I cropped the picture. Cause I knew, I knew that that sewing needed to come out. I knew it, but did I take it out? Cause no, I didn't know what else was gonna do with my hair. Cause I was like trying to transition it. I didn't really know. I didn't want to go back to clip-ins. So I knew, I knew that it was not hitting. But um, let me hurry up because I feel like my camera's on the die soon. So yeah, I kept that in, and then. After I came home from school, that's when I took the sewing out. And then I was just like, I don't know what to do with my hair. February comes around, I believe. And I cut my hair off. I have a picture of that. I have a picture of that. Cut it all off. Not all off, but like I did like a short style. So here's when I first cut my hair off. For the first time ever. Girl, looking, looking 25 at like 19, 18. Anyway, so that's the first time I cut my hair off. And then I started like putting like dye in it. Not like, okay, I put that L'Oreal high color that everybody uses for burgundy hair. I put that in my hair. And um, my hair started slowly breaking off. So then I had went, this is when I was about to start working at Target. Um, the dye had faded by then and I was wearing like a bowl cut. You know what? I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this for my hair journey story. I'm not going to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not gonna tell anymore. I'm not gonna tell anymore. I'm gonna make this a whole video about my hair journey because I feel like that's some good content. And y'all like when I talk about my natural hair and I'll have my natural hair out in it. So, I mean, it's not gonna be curly. It's probably gonna be straight, but anyways, let's just finish this video because I'm, I'm talking too much. So, I wish this was like a little bit more defined. But no, I like this. But no, I like this. I love this. I love this. So, this is going to be it, you guys. I'm like, no, I'm in love with this hair. I'm in love with, like, I've never tried sunburn hair. Never thought to try it because it's just like, this hair is like so nice. My camera's about to die, so I have to go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have all the hair details linked below for you guys. This hair is from Sunburn Hair. I did cut it. I dyed it. Everything. Um, I'll have everything linked down below. Whatever I need to link the curling iron and stuff. I'll have that link down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.